Hi, this is the level three lesson for unit five lesson C. And this is the conversation lesson. So first, let's listen to this conversation between these two women. Page 48, lesson C. Whatever you're having. One, conversation strategy. Letting another person decide. B, listen. What snack does Laura offer Kayla? What drinks does she offer? Can I get you something to eat? Oh, I'm okay for now, but thanks. Are you sure? I have some cheese in the fridge and a box of crackers. No, thanks. I'm fine. Really? Maybe later. Well, how about some tea or coffee? Um, are you having some? Yeah, I need to wake up a bit. So, tea or coffee? Either one is fine. Whatever you're having. Okay, I think I'll make some tea. Do you want it with milk or lemon? Oh, either way. Whichever is easier. Are you sure it's not too much trouble? No, no, it's no trouble at all. And when you're ready, continue below. And this conversation, there's practice here with um, letting another person decide. So you can look for these examples in the conversation. And then when you're ready, you will choose one of these answers to um, complete the conversation. And when you're ready to check, continue the video. So these are possible answers that you can have. There's more than one way to respond to these questions. So if you have any concerns about the answers you wrote, just let me know. And then on the next page, this is practice with polite refusals, which is how to say no to someone who has offered you something. These are some phrases that you can use to refuse offers of food or drink. When you're ready, choose one of these phrases to complete the conversation and then continue the video when you're ready to check. So these are possible answers you can have. I would say these ones you could switch, but usually when someone says really, it's a little bit stronger way to say no thank you. So this should be the last one, but if you have the switch, that's fine. And then the next activity is listening. Uh, you'll listen at least twice. The first time you listen, you will just number the conversations from one to four. And then when you repeat the listening, you will match the appropriate response to the last thing you hear. So whichever one you label as number one, the response for conversation number one, you'll put number one. Page 49. Three, listening and strategies. That sounds good. A and B, listen to four conversations about food and drink. One. Are you having dessert? No, thanks. I'm too full. But you go ahead. Well, I think I'd like something. Do you want to share one? Hmm. Well, the chocolate cake looks good. And so does the apple pie and ice cream. And there's fresh fruit. Two. Wow, I'm really full. That was a great meal. Thank you. There are a few potatoes left and a few pieces of meat. Are you sure you don't want some more? No, thanks. Really, I've had enough. You're not too full for dessert, right? I made a cake. Three. Do you want to go out for dinner? 
I don't really want to cook tonight. I'm too tired. Okay, sure. Where should we go? Well, there are a couple of new places. We could try that new Italian restaurant or the Chinese place. That's always good. Four. Wow, it's really hot today. It sure is. Let's make some iced tea. Or we could make iced coffee. Oh, that sounds good. Okay, well, which would you like? I'll make some now. Okay, um, so first I will show you the answers for part A. So these are the answers that you should have. And then if you need to listen to the conversations again, listen again. And then you will match these conversations to the appropriate response for the last part of the conversation that you heard. And when you finish part B, play the video to check your answers. Okay, these are the answers that you should have. If you have any questions on this, please let me know. That's all there is for this lesson. Enjoy your day and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.